Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. Just a quick one today, I want to talk to you about a supplement I've been using and I've been having a lot of luck with. It's uh, Cordyceps sinensis and it's pretty weird. It's something that you don't often hear about in nootropic or bodybuilding circles and that's why I'd like to highlight it in this video because I think, for me, it's been working pretty well. Okay, so with any supplement, it's always very difficult to know if you're getting a placebo effect or if you're getting some genuine effects that are coming from the product itself. Uh, that's the case with this one. It's the case with everything I've pretty much ever taken except for whey protein. In this case though, for me personally, I think there's a, a strong possibility that it's certainly being doing something. And I think most likely that something is improving my energy levels, improving my uh, motivation, my ability to work for long periods without distraction and my ability to recover from workouts and general stress. It's a supplement that athletes take for endurance training as well as for things like uh, recovering from adrenal fatigue and overtraining. And the research surrounding it is really very interesting and yeah, it's enough that it's convinced me and that's pretty rare actually because I'm a very cynical guy. So what it is, is like I say, super weird. It's a mushroom, a fungus that grows out of the heads of dead caterpillars in the Him Himalayas. So that's probably not what you're expecting me to say. Fortunately, they found a way to uh, synthesize this in a lab because that would obviously be quite expensive if the only way you could get it is out of the tops of the heads of dead caterpillars. The legend goes that um, it was the goat herders in the Himalayas who discovered cordyceps first when they noticed that their livestock, the goats, they were eating the cordyceps as it grew and becoming more virile, more strong and generally uh, healthier. So they thought this was interesting and they started to take it themselves and it quickly became popular as, a, um, as an aphrodisiac for men. It then came to popularity again, came to the spotlight when it was used by the Chinese women's Olympic long distance running team and they broke all these records apparently and uh, eyebrows were raised people thought it might be steroids so they looked into this and apparently it wasn't steroids and what the coach of the team said was that actually it was down to cordyceps you know I was going to say that because otherwise that would be an unrelated story so that's all obviously not very scientific uh, but as anecdotal evidence it's cool and it's interesting and then when they looked into how it works they found that it potentially uh, does have the same effect that they were finding here it's got tons of bioactive uh, agents, it's uh, an antioxidant, it's very good for your general health, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the fact that according to a lot of research it can increase the amount of ATP, that's adenosine triphosphate, in your blood. ATP being the most basic form of energy, you should know this if you've been reading the Bionera or watching this channel for a while, it's the most basic form of energy that your body uh, converts things like glucose into to use. So that's interesting and that's why I've been stacking it with creatine. Uh, creatine, of course, recycles used ATP using creatine monophosphate and that allows you to get more use out of your existing ATP. So if you theoretically were to take cordyceps and stack that with creatine, then you'd not only have more ATP to begin with, but you'd also be recycling more of that ATP and reusing it. So that's the theory and again, something I've been finding quite effective. I don't know anyone else who stacks those two things together, that was my own idea and yeah, like I say, it's working well, so give it a try if you're interested. Uh, it's also supposed to be effective at increasing oxygenation in the blood, possibly through vasodilation. In other words, it allows more oxygen in, gets around your body more, and helps you to burn more calories as well as running further and generally being more aerobically efficient. Which would explain, theoretically, why a Chinese Olympic team might be able to run for much longer without tiring out. It's been shown to help people recover from, as I said, adrenal fatigue and overtraining, and one way it might do this is by raising testosterone and lowering cortisol. The testosterone cortisol ratio in your blood is one um, indicator that people use to detect whether someone might be overtrained or not. And cordyceps can apparently raise your testosterone quite effectively, which would explain why um, in traditional Chinese medicine it's used to raise uh, virility in men. Studies have shown this to be quite effective. They haven't really been carried out in human uh, subjects but in mice and in, in vitro studies, it's been found to uh, boost testosterone by as much as 200% in some cases, which is 
a fair amount, more than a lot of the ingredients that you found in all these um, testosterone boosters that will raise testosterone by about 30%. However, for some reason, cordyceps, you know, the supplement market hasn't jumped on it yet as a potential bodybuilding um, ingredient. Whether or not that's likely to um, correlate with humans uh, in reality, you know, we might need larger doses than they used in those studies, etc., is unknown. But in my experiences, like I say, I've been feeling just generally more virile. You know, there's a lot of mixed studies on cordyceps. Some of them show that it's very effective at improving uh, the swimming ability of mice in the long distance, uh, in increasing the athletic performance of elderly people, etc. But then other studies suggest that it don't, doesn't work. There's one study on cyclists, I think, that found that they weren't able to cycle any further or any faster. So as usual, uh, the evidence is up in the air, but there's enough, to me, there's enough interest around this and enough anecdotal evidence and enough um, supporting evidence, even from the research, that it's certainly something that's interesting to me. In Chinese medicine, it was also supposed to raise just qi, you know, qi being the uh, Chinese idea of a life force. It's used in martial arts and in certain healing practices and, you know, it's on scientifically shaky grounds, but the point is that qi represents someone's health and their just general vitality. So, you know, if you're stressed and run down, then in theory, something like this can help you to recover and go for longer without just, you know, burning out. And that's what I found because I recently moved house and I was training very hard and my work really picked up and I think I had reached a burnout. So my, my training was affected and the amount of work I was doing was affected. And of course, this might just be a coincidence and I might have just recovered naturally. But I think that taking cordyceps and stacking it as I have done with creatine and also DAA, which I talked about in my testosterone video, has helped me to get my um, mojo back, basically. I wake up in the morning and I'm able to do a workout, whereas normally it takes me a couple of hours to come around and shrug off the sleep inertia. At the end of the day, after, you know, 10 hours of working, I'm still able to stay focused and productive instead of starting to procrastinate as I get tired. And then I can maybe fit in another workout in the evening too. Obviously, it could just be a placebo, but it seems to be working for me, so I don't want to change anything. And as it's quite cheap and as the studies are quite good, maybe you should check it out too. So let me know in the comments section below what you think. Are you going to give this supplement a go? Is it something you've already tried? What were your experiences? I'd love to hear about it. So uh, yeah, please uh, let me know what you think. If you found this video useful and interesting, then please consider liking and sharing, maybe subscribing to the channel. It means a great deal to me. And for all those of you who are already subscribed, then uh, thanks a ton for supporting this channel because it means a great deal to me. This is really my passion. And stick around because I've got all the usual stuff coming soon. Uh, fitness, training, bodybuilding, uh, productivity, nootropics, um, Bruce Lee, you name it. So if that sounds good, then uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, hope you have a great December. Bye for now.